Good morning, guys. I asked Finley to start off the vlog today because I was going to be in the shower and I knew that he was outside working so maybe he could like show you guys what he was doing. And I think he forgot because the camera's still on the place I left it last night. But anyways, hello. I'm in the kitchen right now just starting to make some coffee but I wanted to show you guys this because I definitely didn't talk about this last night. This huge king flop. I tried to make granola and it just completely flopped and like burnt really bad. I was following a recipe but then I put chocolate chips in it and then all of the chocolate just burned and I was like, well, that was a waste of multiple cups of ingredients. Way to go, Meg. <laughs> but I'm just gonna put it in the compost, honestly. I mean, what can you do? So instead of granola this morning that I made <laughs> last night, I'm going to just have a little bit of a PB&J. <laughs> The contractor who worked on this house before we moved into it is coming by in just like about a half hour to look at the leak in our ceiling and try to fix it up. So I'm just gonna stay down in the living room down here so I can see him when he pulls in and stuff. Is this a new jar of jelly? Oh no. No. Oh, it hurts. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm so sorry for those noises. <laughs> oh god. I forgot I stirred that upside down and it's dangerous to open. Do you ever wish you could just like eat spoonfuls of strawberry jelly? Or is that just me? <laughs> I love strawberry jelly. I feel like a lot of people put more peanut butter on their PB&Js than they do jelly. But I put more jelly than peanut butter. Yummy, yummy. Plus she always got that loud pack. Inspiration for this soundtrack. Every time she throws that ass back, all she says is. Stunning. This is all making me a bit nervous to watch. <laughs> Look at this whole crazy thing. He's building the roof. He's on the deck that will be up there. How's it going? The only thing I still need to figure out for up here is how to put some railing on it that can fold down, kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or really, it's, I, it just needs to be detachable. Like, I just need to be able to undo a couple bolts or something like that. Yeah. I could do. Yep. So nobody's yeah. fallen off in their drunken state. Do you want to come up here? Um, sure. Will this be the main way that people get up here? No, I'll probably add a permanent ladder on somehow. I'm gonna make myself Yeah, it takes a while to get used to things like ladders and not feel scared of shit on them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Takes some getting used to. But that'll tighten up, like, that's the wobble I'm talking about that's gonna tighten up with, uh, I am king of the world! But isn't it pretty cool up here to like, <laughs> just for chilling? I'm really glad I stuck with the deck idea, but it's fun to be perched up, you know what I mean? I'm not normally afraid of heights, but this is a little daunting. It's because it's not only high up, but you also feel... <laughs> Usually when you're high up, you're like irrationally afraid of heights, and it's like the thing you're on doesn't feel like it's gonna collapse, but this you're like... I'm a little uh, this scared. feels like it could collapse right now, and I'd be in pretty bad shape if that happened. But yeah, no, I mean, I just need to get the roof finished, and then I'll be putting the plywood up on the sides next, and that should be the thing that tightens it all up. Yeah. Hey, folks. So I decided that I need to, well, a couple vlogmases ago, I got a pair of pants from Lazy Oaf, and I tried them on, and I was like, I'm so excited for a nice pair of well-fitting pants because I don't have those right now. Like, a lot of my jeans just don't fit like they used to and blah 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 instead of getting down on myself for it. I'm just like, let's just buy a new pair of pants, you know? So I did, but I definitely like overestimated my size and they just like fit really baggy around the cooch and they just don't look very flattering. And yeah, I just want them to be like two sizes smaller, I feel like. So now I have to return them back to London 
and I realized that the cheapest way to do that is to go to FedEx, which is 30 minutes away, rather than going to my local post office. So I'm driving there now. On the way, I'm going to stop and return my egg cartons and get more eggs. So yeah, I'm gonna get eggs. I'm gonna go to Oregon City, send this off, run some construction errands um, for Finley. He needs basically washers and bolts and drill bits. So I was like, okay. And I wrote them all down in my notes so I won't forget what everything is. And yeah, here we go. Guys, I just tried to ship this off at FedEx and it was every kind of bad you could have thought <laughs> happened. He basically like, I mean, the guy was super nice, but he turned the computer around and was like, we're looking at this as your cheapest option. And it was $119 to send them back, which is more than the pants even cost. <laughs> so I was like, um, no, I can't do that. And he was like, yeah, I mean, I figured I just wanted to like, let you know how expensive it was. And I was like, okay, well, where could I send this off for actual, you know, actually a good price? And he was like, I mean, post office gonna be your best bet. And I was like, what? I literally looked up online, like the cheapest way to send an inter international order, because these are going to Lazy Oaf in London. And he was like, the internet told you FedEx. That's not true. And I was like, what? Ah! So I guess I'll just go try and go to the post office. I just picked out the pigs' Christmas presents, harnesses and leashes so they can come on hikes with us. Guys, I need to be stopped this holiday season for gifts for my pets. I can't get them any more things. I already bought Larry a whistle GPS and that thing is damn near like a hundred dollars just to purchase it and then you get a subscription plan after that to track your dog with the device so it's like $200 after the whole thing, but definitely worth it. But yeah, I already bought that shit for Larry and then I come here and I basically just got the pigs <laughs> harnesses and leashes <laughs> and they're really good quality too. Like this is a beautiful leash. So I got this light pink color for either ducky or peach and they're like big mama harnesses. Like they're padded, they're reflective. They have like a lot of room too for like, I mean the girls will get up to 150 pounds. So they have to be adjustable <laughs> to get around their bellies. And then I got this also like a rosy color as well. And all of that together was $129. Like, am I okay? <laughs> Ugh, but honestly, like thinking about it, I'm like, fuck yeah. I can't wait to see my pigs on harnesses and leashes and be able to walk them. They're actually gonna be walking us. They're so heavy. They're gonna be taking us for the damn walk. But anyways, now I'm going to go and get field roast vegan weenies from Fred Meyer because they're cheap at Fred Meyer. And then I'm gonna go from there to Home Depot. So it's really just an errand running day. Okay, peeps, successful Home Depot run, honestly. But I was standing in the drill bit section for like 10 minutes, it felt like, just being like, what ones is there to get? There's so many numbers, there's so many different drill bit options. Phillips head, fucking regular head, I don't know. But I just asked for help, because sometimes you just gotta ask for help, you know? I don't know what I'm doing sometimes, so. This nice man helped me. And now I have all of my drill bits and some other little hardware pieces. And I am ready to go home. But one fun thing that I found out today, my friend Ani, who you guys have seen in a few of the vlogs, um, I follow this tattoo artist on Instagram who lives in Portland. And on her Instagram story the other day, she put like a listing for her apartment basically and was like looking for a roommate, if you know anyone. And I was like, Ani. Ani's looking for a new living situation than the one she's in right now. And so I sent it to Ani and she went to tour the house today and she was like, dude, it went great. Um, it's $200 cheaper than the other house I was looking at. The girls are so nice and around my age, so like friends. And um, yeah, she just said it went wonderfully and that they told her that the room is hers if she wants it. And I was like, shit, dude, I'm so happy I saw that on Instagram for you. So the power of Instagram folks. It brought Ani and I together and it's now finding her a new home. Actually, I think that Ani and I were DMing on Twitter. Anyways, it doesn't matter, but the internet brought us together and now it's gotten her home. If she decides to go with it, that is. But she's, she told me she's so excited that she's celebrating at a vegan cheese shop right now and I was like, you crazy vegan. 
And speaking of Ani, we're going to see Beautiful Boy tonight because I've just heard a lot of rage about Mr. Timothy Chalamet in that film and I love Steve Carell and I've been watching a bunch of fucking Timmy interviews recently and he was talking about his like preparation for the character of like having a methamphetamine addiction and all this stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to see that with Ani tonight in Portland because we're just going on a nice hot date, you know? Sometimes you just gotta take your girl on a date and that's what's happening tonight. So yeah, that's my plans for the rest of the day. But right now I'm going to drive home and listen to Mac Miller because honestly, it's been a while. Miss you, brother. Also, it's hard for me to play shuffle that shit in this car because I don't know, I brought my camera right here and it just slides around really easily and it's just really destructive when I'm driving and I don't want to break my camera during vlogmas that would be terrible so the better option is to not film and drive we'll save shuffle that shit for when we're home in Georgia on the 20th baby drop off that package at the post office and it was $23 which was like a hundred dollars cheaper than at FedEx so god bless USPS but while I was there I checked my PO box and I just got this package from Jasmine Alvarez and she said she goes by Jazzy so thank you Jazzy she sent me a really sweet card and sent us two Patagonia jackets one in this funky fresh floral color and then one for Finn that's this black color like this is just this is wild. I've never owned a Patagonia before, but I know they're, I mean, they're an expensive piece. She didn't have to do this. She said that she's been watching Vlogmas and has um, <laughs> realized that we're kind of chilly boys up here. And so she just has a closet full of jackets and she said half of which she didn't even wear, so why not share them? And that there's, she also said there's surprises in the jacket pockets and I haven't found those yet, so hold on. Candy! <laughs> Hershey's Kisses and candy canes. Holy crap. <laughs> what a nice freaking thing to receive today. Thank you, Jazzy. What the crap is this? Socks? <laughs> she stuffed socks into the pocket. Out of this world, Santa socks. Oh, frick. Thank you. I mean, this is just, oh, wow. I can't believe this is real life. I'm gonna put this thing on. Guys, look at my new jacket. I'm so funky and fun. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Guys, it's fucking going down in the kitchen tonight. I'm watching Lindsay and Sean's Chick-fil-A versus Wendy's mukbang while I make a goat cheese polenta with roasted fennel and dates. <laughs> Such opposite meals that we're gonna be eating tonight, Linz, if you're watching. Well, no, not tonight. You know what I mean. Anyway, if you want to screenshot and make this recipe, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it's good, but I think it's gonna be freaking good. I'm pretty excited about it. I've never made any kind of a polenta before, let alone used goat cheese by my own volition. I mean, who am I, you know? <laughs> Lindsay would be triggered by this. She fucking hates goat cheese, but my mom loves it. So that was some big cheese drama in our house. Anyways, I'm using the microbiome cookbook again, not a shock, but I pretty much only have like one more minute on the polenta and honestly everything. So it's gonna be ready pretty soon. And I wanted to make this just because I was already like hungry and it was like four something PM. And I asked Finley, I was like, is it too early to make dinner? And he was like, honestly, yeah, but like you could make it early for yourself and I'll just have it later. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so yeah. And I also wanted to like have a home cooked meal before I go to the movies. Divide the polenta between serving plates. Top with the roasted fennel and dates and a handful of micro greens. Okay, two scoops of the polenta. Do you want to hear one of the most embarrassing mistakes I've ever made? One time I um, was talking with Finley about polenta and I was like, I'm not fucking eating that. Why would I want to eat polenta? And he was like, babe, I think that you're thinking about placenta. <laughs> and I was, I was 
fully thinking about placenta. And I was like, I'm not gonna fucking eat a placenta <laughs> in my head. Oh, what a loony thing for me to do. Just so silly sometimes. This looks fucking great, honestly. I'm big into fennel lately, so that's why I wanted to make this recipe. And I had Finley go through and bookmark a bunch of recipes that he would ideally eat. And this was one of them. So I hope he likes it as well. Slash, I hope I like it, honestly, because who gives a crap about him? All I care about is if I like this meal that I made. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it would be ideal for the other person in my house that I cook for to enjoy my food. I feel like a fucking grandma with the sun going down at like 4 p.m. every day, having a little handful of microgreens to throw on top. And there we are, folks. Yes, this looks wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna have a little taste test over here at the table. Whenever my glasses fall down to the bridge of my nose, I feel like you're Nana. You know, mukbangs are great because then you can eat with other people. So here I am, Sean and Lindsay, entertain me. I see this is maybe where we differ because I'm obsessed with the Frosty. I think Frosties are like one of the best, my favorite parts of Wendy's. This is an interesting meal. Just be like, Wait, do I like this it's not bad. I don't know. I probably wouldn't make it again. They're pretty good together. Like, I like the date action. I wish every bite had a sweet date in it. So maybe I would just add more dates next time. The recipe calls for eight. I'd add maybe like double that. I'm just not that big of a fan of goat cheese, I guess. Okay, folks, a couple updates for you. Our neighbor John is over. I was hearing some like talking outside and I was like, who the heck is outside? Who's Finley talking to? So I bopped out there also to feed the pigs, but saw John, they're basically just like, he's giving him tips on the house. Cause John has like, he's basically a contractor. He like um, owns an excavation business. So they're constantly like tearing down houses and then keeping a bunch of the stuff from him. And he knows how to build really well. So he's giving him some tips right now. And it's just all stuff where I'm like, oh, who would have known? Like if he hadn't said to do that, we probably wouldn't have <laughs> taken that step and then it wouldn't have been as insulated or weatherproofed or whatever. I'm talking about the tiny house that Finley's building, by the way, if you are behind. I have like, I'll link it on the screen, but I have a vlog where we were talking about the tiny home build, but he pretty much works on that every day now. And he wants to like, really get it done before his friend comes to visit and record his album in, cause it's gonna be a music room. So he wants to have it done to record in, in early January. So it's like, he still has a little bit of time to finish it, but he's definitely kind of like rushing it at this point to finish it in time and stuff. And who knows if it'll be done by then. I hope so, cause that would be really great for him to be able to utilize the room, but yeah. So John's over right now, they're having a little discussion and I'm just inside. I was just watching my friend Molly's videos on her new channel. Um, you guys should go subscribe by the way. I love her videos so much and she just made like a channel about her life for like separate kind of vids and um, is looking for some new subbies. So yeah, <laughs> and what else? Oh, I wanted to say that Dave, the contractor who has worked on this house came over today with also his friend named Dave. <laughs> We were double daving it today in the kitchen trying to figure out the leak situation and he was like I mean I tell Linda our landlady all the time. She just needs a new roof. She needs to get a new roof It's just gonna keep leaking. We can't just keep putting bandages on the leaks because there's just gonna sprout a new leak <laughs> In a couple months and it's just gonna keep happening until she replaces her roof and I'm like fuck So they basically left and we're like we'll tell Linda she has to get her roof replaced and let you know about that whole situation. But even if we just replace like half of the roof where it's leaking all in the kitchen over there, then that'll stop leaks. And we were like, oh, okay. And then when they left, Finley was like, you know, if somebody is up in here replacing our roof all the time, it's gonna be a little invasive. We just rent this property. We didn't buy it. So when they talk about replacing the whole roof, I'm like, oh, honestly, I would much rather that happen once we move out. <laughs> And speaking of moving, um, we're gonna change our lease to a month to month come February. We really love like this area and this property and you know, obviously the home that we've made for ourselves here. But our goal is to buy a home in the future. And so we're gonna be spending a little bit of, I think January we decided on, we would, we would start looking for properties like either 
in Oregon or in Washington because we haven't really explored a lot of Washington. So just nice lush places in the old PNW to buy land for a longer amount of time. A nice forever home, if you will. Forever doesn't exist. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Anyways, me and Larry are just hanging out. Do you see his little pea head right there? Boop. I have a few hours to kill before I am going to meet Ani. So, yeah. Well, actually not a few hours. I think I have like one hour to kill. Doesn't matter. Anyways, just wanted to update you on life. <laughs> Downtown is so Christmassy. It's beautiful. Oh, look at the tree. It's beautiful. We love Christmas in Portland always. <laughs> These trees. Love a good light situation. Just any like strand of light on a trunk, I say, yeah, I fucking love that. I'm with Miss Ani. We're just walking around windy and rainy Portland and headed to the movies. And I'm so fucking excited, man. I've been talking to her about excited, yeah, how excited I am. Yeah, our boy finished. Timmy. We're just gonna watch him and just watch Steve Carell like he's our father or something and just be like, what a guy. Okay, adios. We just got out of the movie, very heavy wild film honestly if you know anybody who struggles with addiction or have lost anybody to addiction or you're grieving over the death of somebody whether you know them or not you know so many celebrities have passed away from ODing and like I don't know it's just a really good film to see man Timothy Chalamet is just mwah, wonderful in it and the only thing that was really 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 weird about it was so you know Holly Flax the character in the office and at like the end of the office spoiler alert if you've never watched the office before and want to know the ending don't listen to me say this <laughs> but like Michael and Holly end up together and like get married and have kids and whatever and then she was the mother of the kid that Steve Carell had in this film and so I was like oh my god this is just like a crazy continuation story but like their son gets hooked on methamphetamine and they fucking get a divorce and live separate lives but are still in each other's lives and it was just like what <laughs> so anyways it's about 11 15 so I'm gonna drive home now probably stop at Taco Bell on the way if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> also, I watched my sister's mukbang earlier and Sean, her boyfriend, and it were, was like, oh, um, Taco Bell is my favorite fast food, actually. And I was like, same. Oh, it's just so fucking good. I have to get it on the way home. I don't have to, but like I have to, you know? It's just right on the way and I'm hungry. My dinner tonight was not enough. It was a little scant. Guys, I'm at my local Taco Bell and every time I go into Taco Bell, I tell them, even if I'm leaving with the food, that it's an order for here. And so tonight, like normally they never notice because they're so busy, but I was the only one in there tonight because it's like almost fucking midnight. Anyways, I was taking my tray and like getting my stuff off of it to bring the food to my car and the woman who, <laughs> The poor woman. <laughs> she took my order and she thought she messed up and she was like, wait, was it, it, I thought it wasn't to go. And I was like, oh no, it wasn't to go. I just like don't like the bag and the napkins and everything like that that I don't need. I just order it for here and then leave with the two of my burritos, you know? And she was like, oh, you're funny. And I was like, yes, I'm funny, goodbye. <laughs> um, but yeah. She's sweet. That's just one of those funny sustainability things. Ah, oh, fuck. Taco Bell mukbang featuring Mac Miller. So good. Why are loaded potato grillers so good? Fuck. You guys need to try the loaded potato griller, no sour cream, add beans. Oh, I'm like burning my mouth. I'm eating it so fast. It's so good. The same woman just saw me filming myself while eating in the parking lot, so I think it's time to go. I'm embarrassed. So cute, I can't help it. I just got home and I'm so freaking tired. 
Oh, I cannot import and edit this footage tonight. No, no, no. I did that last night, but I will be going to bed now <laughs> and then waking up and just doing the editing then. But if you enjoyed this vid, guys, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And until I next upload, stay smiling. Bye, guys. Run fast from a day job, running fast from the way it was.